Hi, if you're getting ready to join our noon workout. Hi, I'm Deb. So all you need is a towel and preferably if you're on a sort of slippery surface, that's gonna be helpful because we're gonna slide the towel around to work our legs and various other body parts. If you don't have a slippery surface, so if you're working on a carpet, then feel free to grab, if you have a plastic plate that you don't mind putting your foot on or even a couple, then that should slide on carpet. So we'll wait till noon officially to start. You can see people coming in, so welcome, welcome. Really awesome that we've started all these live workouts now through Humber. Hi, welcome. Hi, hi, so I'm Deb. And uh, I'll just keep reminding people, since new people are, are joining, that all you need is a towel for today's workout. So we have the opportunity, good afternoon, to do some total body strength training, or really working all the different major muscles of our body using this amazing piece of equipment that we all have access to, which is, which is pretty cool. Hope you're ready to work out. We'll get some tunes going in a few minutes. And then uh, I think the plan is for most of these workouts to get downloaded and then put on the Humber Fitness in um, YouTube channel. So hope everyone's doing okay, managing at home. You may get a, uh, a photo bomb in the back of my dog She's currently sleeping on my couch. So I don't think she'll move, but she might photobomb us, join in a little bit later. Okay, so if you just joined in, all you need is a towel. That is it for today. So I'm gonna wait officially for a couple of more minutes before we kick off our workout and get ourselves warmed up. So I'm Deb. If you're Humber people, I know anyone can is welcome to join us here. I'm, uh, I teach at Humber, kind of appropriately in fitness and health. So I'm pretty excited to do a workout with you today. I'm gonna get the music started and we'll get going in about three minutes. Just gonna get the music started. Hopefully it won't be too loud for you. Hi, hi, those of you just joining in. I'm Deb. <laughs> so all you need is a towel. You'll be amazed at some of the things that we can do with a towel. Hi. <laughs> so if, uh, if anyone's wondering, I'm using some royalty free music off of YouTube, which is great. That means we're, uh, we're not breaking any rules. And obviously you know that I can't see you. I can, I know you're there and you're welcome to write in comments if you have questions and I can touch base at the end of our workout as well. So please take it at your own pace. If there are things that just don't make sense for you and you wanna do it a different way, absolutely it's your workout. So that's the beautiful thing about any kind of workout is you can customize it to suit your needs. Okay, we're about one minute in counting. So a towel is all you need and ideally on a slippery surface. So I've got these nice laminate floors in my basement, or if you have hardwood floors or tile space, somewhere that you'll be able to put your towel on the ground and let it slide. I'm hoping, I think you can see my feet if I'm way back here, let's get that out of the way. If, uh, if my pup doesn't make an appearance, I'll see if I can get her to come and say hi after our workout. <laughs> okay, do you have your towel? You ready? You excited to do a workout? So if you've never done uh, a towel workout before, then uh, you may be thinking, 
how are we going to get a great workout using this? And hopefully I teach you some things or surprise you a little bit with some of the amazing things that we can do. Okay, what do you say? Is it go time? We've got 30 minutes, more than enough time to do a great workout. You stay as long as you want, do as much as you can. And as I said, take it at your own pace and feel free to adjust any of the exercises. Okay, let me teach you a couple things that are really key. Whenever we're holding the towel, we wanna to make sure that we're pulling it nice and tight. And one of the benefits of that is it helps to kind of get your upper body kind of engaged, your muscles contracting. It's gonna help with your spinal alignment and even bring in more of our core conditioning. So I want you to start with your feet about hip distance apart. Let's get our hips, our knees, and our ankles warmed up. So you'll hold your towel with your hands just a little bit wider than your legs. Pull it tight, 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 and set your shoulders. And then just start to sit and lift. We'll do a few slow ones so you can practice sitting back. And it doesn't need to be deep, especially when we're warming up. Okay, can you start going a little quicker? Sit. Are you pulling the towel tight? So almost imagine like you're trying to rip it in half. Now, let's start bringing the towel up to shoulder height. So getting some shoulder movement as well. Warming up our shoulders. So we can do some plank slider, sound good? Now watch the next progression start to reach overhead. Now, if it feels better, go ahead and take your hands wider on the towel. I need to do that for more shoulder mobility. And then if you want to step wider, if that feels better as well, make whatever adjustments you need to work for you. One more. Now, step to the right, drop into your hip, come back. You can keep the towel nice and tight. So a lateral lunge. I want you to keep all 10 toes forward. So if you notice your stepping leg, so in this case now we're going to the left, looks kind of like it's doing a squat. Let's add the towel rotation. So you're gonna rotate and see if you can get your towel so it's perpendicular to the floor. So we're starting to get our inner thigh muscles moving a little bit more. Good, now take your right leg back, press your hips forward, then we'll add in the upper body. So if you've been sitting a lot, even more than usual, this is a great way to start to open up our hip flexor muscles that are very tight from sitting. Okay, let me reset my towel and we'll go through the same progressions, coming up to shoulder height. Shoulder. Shoulder height. And then one of my favorites, I want you to come all the way overhead or as high up as you can. Remember, if you wanna put your hands wider, if that just feels better for your shoulders, then feel free. So a great stretch, lengthening the whole front side of our body. Okay, just a couple more. Oh, this is a great exercise to do, even without the towel if you need a little break from sitting. Okay. Just do a little rotation, side to side. So I'm lifting one heel as I rotate. I'm still pulling the towel tight. It's kind of helping to guide my upper body. Okay, let me come check in. What do you say? Hi, 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 those of you that just came in. You're ready to get to work. So let's start with some lower body training. Grab your towel. We're gonna start training our right leg. You might even need to fold it. And I want you to put your right foot on your towel. Your left foot's gonna stay firmly on the floor to give you some stability. Now slide your towel forward into a lunge. So as you slide, your left knee is gonna drop towards the floor. Slide in and pull back. Bonus, you get to clean your floor. Slide in. Out, sorry, slide back in. Now, if you want more resistance, really push your foot into the floor. So you're having to pull to get yourself back. Slide and pull. Okay, one more. And now, let's switch legs, okay? So left foot's on the towel. 
slide out, pull back. Oh, and it's okay if you wiggle and wobble. You'll certainly see me doing that. You can decide how deep to go. Try to keep your chest up nice and proud so your shoulders stay stacked over your hips. Oh, okay, let's try. How about one more? Okay, beautiful. Back to the right. Next exercise. We warmed up doing the lateral lunge. So now I want you to slide out. Right foot's on your towel. You can use your arms any way you'd like to help with your balance. Now, if you'd like to go at a different pace than me, absolutely. Now let's try to press into the pinky edge of our left foot. So push into your pinky toe side. So this leg stays nice and long. Okay, one more, my friends. Good, now switch. Plant your right foot and then get ready. So good to get our hips moving this way. I gotta make sure I have enough space here. Slide, come on back. Pressing your hip so that it looks like your left leg is trying to kind of cozy up towards the wall in a squatting motion. Okay, one more. Back you come. Now this time, right foot's on, but you're mostly gonna push through the ball of your foot and slide backwards. Let me give you a, a different perspective. So you slide back, press into the floor as you bring your foot in. Four to go. Two. Okay, folks, one more, one more. Excellent, switch feet. So you're pressing more through the ball of your foot. You ready, steady? Press as you slide in, dropping your left knee. And again, we're trying to stay nice and upright through our torso. Hang in there. Two to go. Okay, one more I wanna teach you, and then we're gonna put all four together in what I like to call around the world. So switch back to the right one more time. This lives in the similar family as the reverse or the back lunge, which you're welcome to stay with. Or if you want, try the crossover lunge. So instead of going straight back, you're gonna let your lift hip kind of shift a bit and then we cross behind, and then do your best to keep your hips mostly squared towards wherever the front, towards your camera, towards your phone or tablet, I should say. And it's okay if it feels kind of funny. It's actually such a great movement to get our hips moving laterally. Still pushing into the ball of your foot as you slide. Okay, everyone, you got two more. Ugh. And if you're not into this move, stay with the reverse lunge. Okay, let's try on the lift. And then my friends, we're gonna take a little trip around the world. Here we go. Slide behind, come back. Now these are also exercises that you may not in the moment think, oh, this is really working, but just wait. Wait until tomorrow. Four more. Three, two, beautiful. Okay, so love this. We're gonna move in every possible direction. So put the towel back under your right foot. Front, side, back, and crossover. So let's do four sets or four reps before we switch our towel to the other foot. Okay, now if you don't have a towel, or a slippery surface, you can be doing these movements without the sliding motion. Okay, four, three, come towards me. Come to the side. Go back. And now, cross over. Okay, that was one. Forward, sink 
Uh, press back. Side. Let's go back. And cross. Okay, two more. Ooh, press. Remember, we're pushing into the full foot when we come sideways. And cross behind. Good, one more time. Is the work starting to accumulate? Starting to feel something? And cross behind. Okay, let's switch. Woo, here we go. Ready? Left leg comes forward. Forward. Sideways. Now take it back. And if you like, cross behind, or you could do another back one. Here we go. Whew. Since we can't do real travel right now, we gotta do pretend travel. Going around the world this way. Two more times. And cross. Okay, lucky last time. And then we'll move on to something else. And behind. Excellent. Okay, everybody, grab your towel like we did in our warm up. Don't worry if you weren't here for the warm up. I'll go over this again. So I want you to stand with your feet about hip distance apart. Put a little bend in your knees and then grab your towel with your hands a little bit wider than your legs. So the key when you're holding the towel is we're trying to keep tension on the towel, in the towel the whole time. And we're gonna work through some movements through hip hinging, some Romanian deadlift style movements so we can train the backside. So getting into our hamstrings, our glutes, and even into different parts of our back. So I'll show you from the side. Shoulders are back, pulling your towel tight, hinging just from your hips, so keeping your spine nice and long. I want you to slide your towel down towards your knees and then stand up. Now, if you're super flexible through your hamstrings, you can come lower than your leg or your knees. I just want you to keep your spine nice and neutral. So let's slide down and up. Keep pulling your towel out tight. And you really stop when you feel a little stretch or a little pull through the back side of your legs and your hamstring muscles. And I ugh, have definitely felt this the next day when I've used this. You think, well, you need a big heavy barbell, but you can get a lot of work with a towel. Okay, one more, and then I'm gonna add in some movements. Okay, so first add in, come down towards your base, your knees, pull, squeeze your shoulder blades together as you try to rip your towel apart. So now we're adding a bent over rope, pull, pull, pull. And just imagine my finger is right on your spine between your shoulder blades, you're pulling and squeezing. Pull and squeeze. Now this time, Stay here and pull. Three. Keep the towel tight even as you lower. Pull one more and now come right back up. Let's try that again. Down and pull three times. Two times. Bring yourself up. Now, maybe stand a little wider because we're going to shift over towards our right leg. So your left knee may bend a little more as your hips shift. So come down towards your right knee. Now pull. Three. Two, we've added a small rotation here. Stand up and shift to the left. Pull three, two. Up you come, let's do one more on each side. So shift, pull three, two, Ugh. and one more. Pull, pull, pull. Good, okay. Whew. Get a little release. So now more for our upper back. Let's return to our starting position. Tip forward, this time I want you to reach overhead. Pull, pull, pull the towel, and then try to press up as high as you can. Come back down towards your knees and stand up. Let's do that again. So this gets us in a big spinal extension position, working all of the muscles that line on either side of our spine. 
So it's a really great way to combat our seated posture, right? When we're slouching. So tip, reach overhead. Back to your knees. Lift tall. Okay, can we add on again to that? Same. Start here. Now pull the towel towards your head. Keep splitting the towel in half. So a high pull or a high row motion. Towel comes out, high pull to your knees. Stand up. Reach overhead, high pull. Ugh. Okay, let's do two more. I'm feeling this right down my backside. Ugh. Okay, last one. Reach. Pull your shoulder blades down, rip your towel in half. Okay, I don't know about you, but I'm hot and sweaty. Okay, so one more standing thing that gets some balance involved. Instead of both legs, let's stand on one leg. Pull your towel tight, stand on your right leg. I'm gonna show you again from a side angle here. So let's tip down and up. Now you can touch your foot down in between reps or not. You can even slide your foot along the floor like this to assist with balance. Tip. Okay, let's do four more. We'll save some of the progressions for next week in this one so we can build. Whew. I am definitely feeling my supporting leg. So my right leg, that's your working leg. The other one's gesturing. It's working, but in a different way. Okay, let's switch. I'll give you the front on view. So you're trying to keep a nice long line from your head to your heel. So it's fine if you want to tip on a bit of an angle, right? You could try to come parallel to the floor, but anywhere you want to land is perfect. I like to flex my right foot and try to lead with my heel and I'm still pulling my towel really tight. Whew. Okay, everybody, two more. This music always makes my dog get nice and happy. Kind of funny. Okay, so you might need a little release. So let's press forward. You can hold your towel or not and just push forward to release between your shoulder blades. I know I'm really feeling the overload of that work. Okay, how are we doing? Shall we try some upper body things? So if you have a mat or a towel that you wanna use to create a cushion for your knees, then feel free to do that. I'm gonna put my mat down. And everybody's favorite, right, a push-up. <laughs> I'm definitely using my knees for this one. So go ahead and try putting your towel under your right hand. So as we do our push-up, your hand slides out and then back in. Slide out and in. So you have to press it. Press into your push-up. So your right hand's gonna go further then your left. It's a bit of an offset push up. Take it out, slide it in. Take it out. Now, if you wanted to try this with your knees off the floor, of course, you're welcome to do that. Okay, one more. Oh, okay, slide the towel to the other side. Let me go on a bit of an angle here so you can see my body position more effectively. Here we go. So slide out and pull in. Ooh, this slide's harder for me. Pull in, slide out. So we've worked our legs, we've worked our back, certainly some shoulders. Now we're doing some chest. Two more. And one. Okay, bring the towel back under your right hand. So this time, again, you can be on knees 
or toes, maybe pretty hard in terms of stability on your toes. So bring your left hand so your wrist is under your shoulder and I want you to slide out and slide back. Here, let me come on the angle again so you get a better view. So come out as far as you can and then pull back. Then switch hands, we'll keep alternating. Slide out, so lots of core work. Some back as well as you pull in. Switch sides, slide out, slide back, switch. So you are hopefully feeling a little surprised with how effective a towel can be as a training tool. Slide in, switch. Okay, let's do four more. Three. Two. Last one. Okay, so whew, let's continue with some planking type motions. Now you can put either the towel under your knees to slide in. I'm gonna put the towel under my toes. And then back in our plank, so wrists are under shoulders, or if your wrists are getting uncomfortable and you wanna put your forearms down, then of course you can try it from this position. So if you were on your knees, they'll be down on the towel. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm trying to slide my shoulders down and you can soften your elbows a bit. We're gonna pull in and push back. Let's go. Pull in, push out. Can we try 10? So if that's our max, I want you to get a personal best. So maybe that's four, maybe that's five today. Doesn't matter. Whatever you can do is great. Here's six, seven, eight, nine and our last one last one last one oh okay lots of great work there folks so a couple more exercises one more exercise and then i'll do some mobility work with you continue with the theme of the towel so lying on your back i just have a little microphone on here that i gotta switch around so i'm not lying on it okay on your back we're grabbing our towel again. So I want you to position your knees so they're right over your hips, 90 degrees. Okay, approximately 90 degrees. And then grab your towel, pull it tight. We're gonna curl up and down. So progression one, up. Keep pulling your towel tight. Okay, one more, then I'll add on. Okay, you ready? So come up, press one leg out, in, and drop. Up, press. Take a look. You can always keep your knee bent and tap your heel down. That works really well. Or if you want, press your straight leg out. Now, if any of this is starting to, your neck is starting to feel fatigue, you could do these moves without the towel and put your hands behind your head. Okay, next progression, if you want. Reach the towel overhead. Ugh. Curl, reach. Okay, four more. Remember, you could still do this version with the overhead reach. And a little bit of tension in your neck is okay. You might even try pushing your tongue against the roof of your mouth. Sometimes that takes the tension away. Okay, final progression, if you want. Both legs. Maybe you try both legs without doing the overhead with your arms. And don't worry about how low your legs are going. It's based on what's happening with your midsection. 
So if your ribs start popping up towards the ceiling, then just bring your legs up a little higher or go back to one at a time. Okay, last two. One more, one more. Ugh. Okay, everybody, use some momentum. Whew. Rock and roll yourself up. And I'm gonna get my mat out of the way. Okay, we've got a few minutes left together and I'm gonna show you some great ways that we can use the towel to stretch, okay? To mobilize our bodies. So even if these are the things you decide you're gonna do maybe once a day, these types of movements when you've been sitting, if you're studying or working, then this is a great way to kind of give a little love back to our body. Okay, we're gonna bring back some of the things we did for our warm up, but first I wanna teach you a new one. Bring your right leg forward, and then you're gonna slide down and up, kind of like the Romanian deadlift modified version we did, but now with one leg forward, we're stretching at our hamstring. Pull your towel tight. Sink and lift. Now switch. Now one of the reasons I like to do repetition is the more you do it, then your body starts to settle in and you may find you can go a little lower get a little further into the stretch. Okay, let's do one more on each side. Now back to standing with feet about hip distance apart. This time, we're gonna slide down. So slide down your right leg. Doesn't matter how deep, different for everybody. Sweep over to the left, so let your hips shift, and then come up. Then we'll reverse that. Go down the left, swing over and come up and I love this one it feels so good slide around letting your hips move come up slide around even if you want to do these kinds of things without a towel I just find the towel gives my upper body some structure especially when I'm really focusing on pulling it tight Okay, two more. And if you find one that you really love and you want to keep doing it longer, of course. Whew. So let's go back to this one that we did in the warm up. I'm taking my hands a bit wider. Press your hip forward. Ugh. Open up through your chest. Okay, everybody, two more of these. And then I've got one more exercise to do to help us mobilize our bodies. Bring your right leg, cross it over your left and let especially your left knee bend. So you've got this kind of pretzel type position. Hands are a little wider than your shoulders or as wide as you'd like. Draw your shoulders down and now you're gonna move through your hip, keeping the towel tight. Good, so your hip is shifting and that's why your torso is moving. Keep pulling your towel tight. Let's do a few more on this side. Keep pulling it tight. Good, switch legs. If your shoulders need a break, drop your towel. Left leg's over, right knee is bent so that your hips can move this way. I can already feel how tight my hips are, my glutes on the side part. Okay, you ready? So pull tight, shift. This one's really helpful for that. A little muscle on the side of your glutes, your glute medius. Ooh. Press into your right hip. Let's do a few more. Good, last one. Good. 
Now you can hold the towel or not. We're gonna tuck our chin in and just roll down, a big spinal roll. Then roll up. Set shoulders, set your head. Let's do that a few more times. Tuck your chin, roll. Then come all the way back up. Set your shoulders. And one more, tuck. Roll yourself back up. Ah, and we did it. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to pause my music so that uh, just in case, hopefully you weren't having any trouble hearing me. If you have any questions, comments, <laughs> then please feel free to write some stuff in. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'll leave this on for a few moments in case you do have any comments you want to write. I'll wave back at all of these people. So thank you so much. So normally our total towel training will, oh good, Leanne, I have this little microphone system that works great with the, with the phone. So um, normally we'll be doing total towel training on Tuesdays, which is amazing alliteration, total towel training on Tuesdays at noon. And we'll keep doing some of these moves that we did today. And then we'll add some progressions and throw in some, some new things. So if anyone else has any questions, you're welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Those of you that made it, I'm glad that everything worked today, but I found out that I was not the only one having technical issues with Instagram live on Tuesday. So maybe there was just some glitchy thing happening and we were all good today. So have a, a safe and healthy afternoon. And I look forward to working out with you on Tuesday. Thanks everybody.